You could not have chosen a better venue for this one. It's the Grand Theater. My name is Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters. This is just one of those things. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. And here is the legend himself, Saul Canelo Alvarez. He's 172 centimeters tall with a reach of 179. And he'll so here is Saul Canelo Alvarez, the Mexican legend, the middleweight, the super middleweight, the light heavyweight who fights out of Guadalajara, Mexico. Terrence Bud Crawford, one of the pounds. This bout is scheduled for... We welcome you to this beautiful theater where every seat... Yes. You can't imagine how bad these fighters want to get their hands on each other. He threw the hook, didn't land. Misses with that jab. This theater is used to hosting concerts and plays, but tonight it's the sweet science that takes center stage. God, I've got to give it to the promoter to pick this place. Every ticket is like gold. You cannot get these tickets. So if you are in this venue, you are watching this fight. Trust me, we're lucky to be sat here. Exchanges from both men in this round. Missed him with that uppercut. And missed with that jab. told us yesterday if he doesn't win by knockout he doesn't consider it a real victory that's the mentality he has terrorized him into not wanting to throw a punch because they don't even see the shot leaving very close round with 10 seconds to go Can go either way. Every round is so important. It's too hard to split. Do you listen to your head or your heart? Who's going to be the first one to get caught? He didn't take that jab well at all. And this is that jab. Lands. And, the rep and he goes down. Not looking good for him right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He just 
rung his bell. Can he finish the job? going to wait for you to move first and then we'll strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to be right. Concentrate. Sometimes when you're fighting a counterfighter, the rounds can get a little boring. You get trigger shy because you know if you throw a punch, one is coming right back at you. Exchanges from both men in this round. The jab just got blocked. And this is a you hit me hard, I'll hit you hard type of fight. the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. He somehow weathered the storm. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. is winning this bout. So important, the referee's got to do his fight right. He's got to judge this right. He's got to do his job right. at it in round four. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those cut areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them, skim and go for speed. Stumbling around on Bambi legs. He's got to get back into the fight. Well, that looked like a flash knockdown here. Let's see if he can get back to his feet. It looks like this one's going to be over.
with the hook. He's in some real trouble. He is down hard. I don't know if he's going to beat the count here. Running out of time. Many people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. Accuracy, power, punch perfect. That was hurt.